Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Once again, I'm the Bearded Collector and this is... Little Collector. And today, we just want to make a quick video for you to show some of the things in our collection. And today, we decided we're going to show off our Freddy Funkos. So, stick around and see what all we have to show. All right, welcome back everyone. So today, um, we were just trying to decide did we want to show off our Chase collection or our Freddy Funkos and the little collector said he wanted to do the Freddy video. So today we're gonna to be showing off our Freddy Funko collection. And the first one we have to show off is our only Freddy Funko soda that we own. And it is the Freddy Funko as Vampire. And we got this from Papa, Missouri. This is the only soda that we have that is Freddy Funko so far. All right, the second thing we have to show off is none other than Funko Shop exclusive Skiing Freddy. Pretty neat little figure. One of the Freddies that we have that does not wear a crown. That's pretty cool. And the next Freddy we have is none other than <coughs> the Happy Birthday Freddy. Mm -hmm. Number 195, Funko Shop exclusive. Next up, we have the Basketball Freddy. Basketball Freddy, NYCC, shared sticker from 2021. Basketball Freddy. And next up, tis the season after all. Tis it the is season, Freddy Funko. Christmas themed. Christmas Freddy number 87. Actually a really cool Freddy. Yeah, that's really cool. Next up from 2020. We have a Freddy Funko. It is, this is Freddy Funko from Funko Europe. This is not the U.S. release. This actually is from the Funko Europe release itself. Could not get this here. I bought this one on eBay. You had to find someone either that was over there that could get it for you or buy it on the secondhand market. Next up is one that I personally wanted. It is the Funko Shop exclusive Skater Freddy. All in all, I mean, this was you bought so much and then you could buy this pop. When I first got it, it's actually a really, really neat pop. It's the actual Freddy. Up next, we have Freddy Funko as El Chavo from the 2021 box of fun i did a trade with this from i'm pretty sure it was frog pop fanatic i may be wrong on that but we did a multi-pop trade um because i had a uh signed chioto brothers killer clown mask that he wanted so we did a big trade and this was one of the pops i got from him in that trade next one up came from this year's Black Light Box of Fun at SDCC. It is Freddy Funko as Russell from Doug Days. I mean, this is, this pop has so much detail and it's just honestly one, to me, it's one of the better made Box of Fun Freddy's that they had this year. They should have made this a much more limited piece be it as a metallic or whatever. Such an amazing, amazing pop. That's really cool. Next up is Freddy Funko, Funko Shop Exclusive Superhero Freddy. <coughs> I'm sorry if you can hear me and him coughing. We have been fighting the flu in my house, but we're on the downward slope of it, so hopefully it's all out of here soon. 
But, uh, yeah, this is actually one of the first Freddy's I actually uh, picked up when I started collecting Freddy's. I saw this, and I just absolutely had to have it. I couldn't afford the glow-in-the-dark superhero Freddy, so I got the next best thing. Do not, do not regret putting this into my collection. Next up is a pop that um, I actually started collecting the uh, Universal Monsters, and here is... Frank and Freddy. Frank and Freddy. Number 59. <coughs> Freddy Funko. Funko Shop exclusive. Frank and Freddy with cell phone. Just an absolute amazing pop. A little collector had to step away for a second to go get him a drink of his water. Next pop we have is Funko H. Clue. Funko HQ exclusive. It is Freddy Funko as the silver or gray space robot. Amazing pop. Absolutely amazing figure. Can I see? You've already seen them all, dude. Yeah. Next up, we have... It is um, from SDCC 2018. It is the 5,000 piece Freddy Funko as the black space robot from SDCC. And I got this off of uh, YouTube from, a, not YouTube, but on Facebook from a very, very good Funko collector friend of mine. And he gave me an absolutely amazing, amazing deal on this pop. Just all around great pop. Next up, we have from the Box of Fright, the only pop that I got from the Box of Fright this year. And I did buy this on eBay because when I saw this, I knew I had to have it. It is the 10,000 piece Freddy Funko as the creature from the Black Lagoon and I got an absolutely amazing deal on him from eBay. He came in absolutely mint. No issues so, at all. That looks so and cool. This ties right back in to my Universal Monsters lineup. My next to the last is from um, SDCC 2020 Blacklight um, Box of Fun. And it is the Freddy Funko as Prince Adam, 4,000 piece limited edition. I've started collecting Motu Pops. I couldn't just let this one sit out there for how cheap it was going for originally and not add it to our collection. And our last, but definitely not least, Freddy Funko that we have in our collection is none other than the metallic Freddy Funko as HR Puff and stuff. I mean, we we had to add this one. 2,000 piece limited edition Freddy Funko as the metallic HR Puff and stuff. So let us know what your favorite Freddy that we have here is. What other Freddy's y'all think we may should add to our collections? And, um, Overall, uh, what do you think? So we appreciate all of y'all giving us a little bit of your time and sticking around and liking and commenting and your subscriptions. And uh, we just thank y'all for all the love and uh, kindness y'all have shown to us. Until next time, Bye. see y'all later.